Oh, hey there, fellow space adventurers. Welcome to today's thrilling episode of Let's Explore the Universe and Laugh at Our Hypothetical Demise. I hope you've packed your sunscreen because today we're going to venture into the lovely warm embrace of Venus. You know, the planet where dreams go to sizzle and spacecraft cry for mercy. Oh, it's going to be a blast, literally. So grab your oxygen tanks, fasten your seatbelts, and let's see what would happen if you spent a whopping five seconds on the fabulous inferno we call Venus. Spoiler alert, SPF 1000 won't cut it. Buckle up, buttercups. This is going to be a hot mess. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to join our community of explorers. So guys, say hello to hell. Oh, well, sorry, sorry, I meant Venus. Others believe it to be Earth's twin, yet. The outside world is not like home, and you're about to go through this sweltering heat, an actual landscape. Your goal is to focus for five seconds on this awful globe, and believe me, these are going to last for five very long seconds. Excited enough? Well, today we will be talking about the various features of this deadly planet ahead. Stay tuned till the very end, guys. The second planet from the Sun, and nearest planetary neighbor to Earth, is Venus. It is one of the four inner, rocky, terrestrial planets, and is frequently referred to be Earth's twin due to similarities in size and density. There are significant variances between the two worlds, yet these are not identical twins. Venus is a burning inferno. Enter it at your peril. Although some have compared it to Earth's twin, this fiery planet is nothing like your beloved home. Be ready to experience this harsh landscape's unrelenting heat. Welcome to Venus, a location that could have you thinking you've reached hell itself. You have only five seconds to survive on this hellish world. It will seem as if these ephemeral moments have existed forever. Our nearest neighbor, Venus, has the distinction of being the planet closest to the sun. The distance between it and us at its closest point is only 40 million kilometers, 25 million miles. You will get the opportunity to witness this celestial body's magnificent yet hazardous features after only four months in space. Venus and Earth formed in the same region of our solar system about 4.5 billion years ago. This celestial entity, which is similar to our planet in size and gravitational power, experienced a different outcome. Venus, in contrast to our comfortable home, has an environment with harsh circumstances on its surface. We have conducted significant exploration and used a variety of probes to learn more about this hot planet. Others carried out close flybys, while some missions were able to safely enter Venusian orbit. Some of the braver ones even landed on the planet's surface, yet the lengths of their missions were generally somewhat brief. It's time to learn what happened to these daring adventurers. It's time for you to make your way down to the ground below. You must be careful not to breathe in these clouds while you take in their beautiful beauty. These brilliant yellow streaks covering the sky are made of sulfuric acid, which gives out a strong smell resembling rotten eggs. But I strongly advise against taking off your helmet only to smell them. Visibility begins to alarmingly decline at a height of about 50 kilometers, 30 miles. It is quite difficult to discern anything around you due to the poor clarity. The planet's tens of thousands of volcanoes remain hidden by the thick atmosphere, which is mostly made of carbon dioxide. This air layer's thickness effectively serves as a barrier, blocking views of the planet below. Also, the dense composition helps to the greenhouse effect, which traps heat on the surface and produces a comfortable temperature. Are you curious about the exact temperature? Be ready for an eye-opening experience, one that might also be difficult. The hazy curtain gradually lifts as you descend another 15 kilometers, 10 miles, revealing the real view of the planet below. The landscape is characterized by rust-colored tones and is embellished with stunning mountains and active volcanoes. This specific volcano is still erupting. Curious, you adjust your flight path as you take in the spectacular view and collect samples. In line with assumptions, the atmosphere is primarily composed of carbon dioxide with very minor amounts of nitrogen. Okay then, let's determine whether this is a good landing area. It seems to be the proper place. Please confirm that I have the authorization to land at mission control. Mission management? Well, there doesn't seem to be a signal. Despite not having permission to land, it is continuing the process in the hopes that it will be successful. 
Your spacecraft's landing causes billowing dust clouds to rise into the air, which take some time to settle in the murky environment. You would lift your gaze to the heavens as the dust gradually disappeared, only to find that the sun's recognizable golden orb was no longer there. On Venus, the sky is always like the morning, no matter what time of day it is. That's because only about 10% of the sunlight can really reach the surface through Venus's atmosphere. Let's go back to our earlier discussion of Venera 13, the space mission that successfully touched down on Venus. This Soviet probe made an astounding drop in 1981 and endured for an incredible 127 minutes, outlasting every other spacecraft that had touched the surface of Venus. However, the unrelenting and hostile climate of this wicked planet eventually overwhelmed Venera 13. It probably gave in to either tremendous pressure, which caused it to be crushed, or severe heat, which caused it to melt. But at this point, there's no going back. You've already made it through the challenging hour-long downhill, and you can now claim triumph. You must step outside for five seconds in order to complete your assignment. Indeed, outside, where you'll find the worst environment you've ever encountered. Congrats on making it to your final location. Your arms are difficult to lift because they feel so heavy. Venus's gravity is similar to Earth's, but because of the atmosphere's extreme density, it feels quite heavy. It feels like you are moving through boiling hot water, not just regular water. Fortunately, you are appreciative of the substantial protective gear you are donning. Looking at the thermometer, you quickly realize that the sweltering temperature is a searing 475 degrees Celsius, 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Such high temperatures are capable of easily liquefying lead. Your carefully planned pressurized suit works diligently to protect your health. Without its shielding embrace, the constant pressure would rapidly debilitate you and prevent you from completing your task. I tell you what, it's not as bad as it seems, actually. Consider this. If a spacecraft was able to survive for more than two hours some 40 years ago, you and your cutting-edge gear could undoubtedly survive even longer. Take a few more steps and enjoy the surprises that are waiting for you as you investigate Venus's mysteries. Your focus is abruptly diverted from undertaking the historic and unique research of Venus's surface conditions by an unexpected interruption. Your protective armor suddenly breaks down, leaving you exposed. The abrupt change in pressure would instantaneously transport you to a sensation similar to being submerged in the ocean's depths. You would feel the crushing force pressing upon you from all sides, since Venus has an atmosphere with an atmospheric pressure that is around 90 times that of Earth. The lack of oxygen in the air would also make breathing extremely difficult for you. Your mouth and upper throat would become scorched by whatever little air you were able to breathe. Death would quickly claim you if you didn't withdraw to the safety of your spacecraft right away. There is a bright spot in this terrible situation, though. Sulfuric acid clouds would be hovering over you, spraying the atmosphere with acid. Thankfully, the hazardous rain would never reach the surface because it would evaporate far before that in this hot environment. Thus, you don't have to worry about the horrible idea of acid eroding your flesh and bones. Undoubtedly, such a fate would be horrifically grotesque. It's obvious now that sending you to explore this hostile surface wasn't the best course of action. Prioritizing Venus's terraforming into a friendlier, habitable planet before starting such a voyage would have been wiser. Well, my brave cosmic explorers, I hope you enjoyed our little journey to the toasty planet of Venus. We've witnessed just how intense it can get in those sizzling five seconds. Remember, it's all fun and games in the realm of hypotheticals, so no need to book your Venusian vacation just yet. If you had a blast scorching with us today, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more out-of-this-world adventures. And hey, share this video with your fellow space enthusiasts so they can also experience the thrill of surviving, or not surviving, on Venus. Stay tuned for more mind-boggling escapades in the cosmos, where we'll continue to dive into the wonders and dangers of the universe. Until next time, keep your feet on the ground, or well in your spacesuit your eyes on the stars, and remember, if life gives you Venus, bring a giant sunscreen. See you next time in the cosmos.